Hi, consultants. How are you? Happy summer. Frequently asked question Friday. Wow, how terrible is my lighting? I thought it would be great. Usually car lighting is pretty good, but something about this tree I'm under, I guess. Um, but I am really happy to tell you um, a little lesson. We'll just go with bad lighting, I guess. I'm really happy to tell you about a lesson that I learned while on the beach today with my kids. So I was with my kids on the beach. I have two kids. We had some friends. There were two kids, so there were four of us all together. I'm in the water with Brody, and all of a sudden this little boy, not mine, is like bumping up against me. And he's playing with us and playing with our sand toys. And I'm looking around, and so I see that, that Deb, you're on with me. Maybe you can help me out. So this little boy, he's here on the beach, hello, and his mom is nowhere to be found. And so what would you guys do, parents who are here in the group? You, you know, you see a kid on the beach, you can't find his parents, he's playing with your kids, he's playing with your group, he's playing, you know, there. What, what do you do? What do you do with him? And we looked around and couldn't find his mom. He was having fun. He wasn't causing any harm. You know, and he'd go down to the water and come back and he'd grab the bucket. So what would you guys do if you saw, you know, if, if you're at the beach and there's a little kid, not yours, playing with your stuff? I give you guys a couple minutes to respond. Um, it was funny, eventually, his mom came over for a second. I think it was his mom. And she went back to her towel and he just kind of stayed with us. Then he wandered over and took some other little kids' toys. Yeah, Deb is so right. You'd be concerned for his safety. So I did the same thing. So I was positioned so I could watch Brody. But then all of a sudden I just turned so I could watch Brody and this little boy, right? kid was fine. Seems like he had a handle on things. He was actually older. He was maybe like three years old. So, you know, it, 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 it was fine. He was great. So I, I positioned so I could kind of take care of him. And you would just let him hang with us, right? No problem. No issues. We didn't abandon him. He just kind of joined the group. And you know what that really made me think of playing with these little kids on the beach today? It made me think about those people in Market America and I don't know if you guys have them in your local area, but there's just those people and they come to meetings, a GMTSS event, maybe you're at a UBP, let's say, and you're talking and all of a sudden someone kind of wanders over and joins your group, joins your conversation. And you're like, who is your parent? Where's your sponsor? Where's your senior business partners, right? And no big deal. You just kind of take them under your wing and say, whatever you can hang with us right we have more than enough toys to go around we have room for you we'll be concerned about your safety make sure you get trained make sure you're part of the tribe and that's one thing i just want to uh, just i it, it struck me how you know it is this happens the same where just like this kid i couldn't find his parent there's a lot of people in market america and i'm like why are they asking me that question like they should have a senior business partner. They should have a sponsor. But you know what? We just have that natural instinct. Like I'll take care of you. No problem. No problem. And that's what happens. And I want more of us to kind of open up our eyes because we're not kids, right? I mean, we're adults. You have to be 18 to own an unfranchise. So we are all adults. And it might not be quite as obvious when someone right around you just needs you to kind of say, it's cool you can come hang with us for a little bit. I see you've kind of lost your way for a moment. And I think that that is, um, it's really refreshing. And that's the part that makes this business feel so much like family, feel so natural. No, Deb, I know you, you would absolutely help anyone. But I, I guess I just wanted as like a little public service announcement, you know, for us all to kind of open our eyes a little wider, look around at meetings and make sure like no one's kind of on the fringes and just like needs to come in a little bit. But this also made me think, I mean, I was not doing certain things for this kid or my own kids, right? I mean, I am a parent and I need to, at the end of the day, make my kids responsible little humans, right? I need them to take responsibility. We have this kind of partnership. 
and you know there's some things that when they get to a certain point I'm just not gonna keep doing it for them and you know I think about like Ella can get herself dressed now at this point that's what she does yeah Laura you have to practice what you preach you know so there's certain things that Ella can do like Ella could absolutely help at the beach I asked her Ella those sand toys over there they need to be brought up honey she was like I don't want to mom you know in her little four-year-old voice no, you got it. You were playing with them. Come on, bring them back. I'll watch you. I'll help you. I'll show you how to dust everything off. You know, but but there was that mutual respect. And I think that I just want to make you guys aware that there's certain things that for your distributors, you can't keep hand holding either. We have to make our organization responsible little humans, responsible little unfranchise owners. Yeah, we have to create some independence. That's gonna help us with the leverage. If you wanna create a leveraged income, it means you have to have it so people are independent on their own. People will be able to survive and do things without you. So let me just tell you a little bit more direct what I mean. Let's talk about, I mean, today is Friday. Today's Friday. This is a day where you might have some Form 1000s in your organization that need to get done or else some BV is going to be purged, right? I mean, has anyone ever had that? You know, my grandparents, they're master coordinators in this business. Every now and then, Grandma needs a little phone call. Hey, Grandma, didn't know if you saw, but you're in the purge report. Let me know if you need some help with your Form 1000. And by that, I'll get on the phone with her. She can do it fine. She's great. She's... Um, 81 years old. Grandma's great with doing her Form 1000. You know, I don't know if my grandfather could do it so much, but Grandma, she's on top of it. Sometimes she needs a little reminder. Did you guys know that if you go into your unfranchise under the training tab where you go to find like GMTSS events, that there's a whole media index. I'll take a screenshot of it later and I will put it in the comments. I'll have to do that when I'm back at my desk. Um, so you'll see it in the comments if you check back on this Facebook Live or if you're catching this as a replay. Um, where they give a whole back office training for you. This is the head of call coming in. I did this just recently. I sent the link, they're all YouTube links sent it to someone in my organization said here you go it's step by step it's only like four minutes long on how to enter customers how to do a form 1000 this was my distributors first one no big deal he was able to watch it was able to do his form 1000 and I don't know if you guys know this but the qualification report on unfranchise is real time so that means that when my guy Rick, when he did his Form 1000 and I went back into the qualification report so I could go see um, if Rick did his Form 1000, it said last Form 1000 and it had that date. So if you sent that to someone today and they said they did their Form 1000 and you know, you're like, well, did you hit I agree? Did you do all that? Can you go back in? Can you find out if it's green? I don't even have to do all that because I can real time. Who, who didn't know that? That the qualification report with the Form 1000 date in there is real time. So if someone does it, I can refresh someone's qualification report as their senior business partner. I can look them up by name or by ID number. And real time, I can see right there if they did it or if they didn't. I didn't, I didn't know that. Um, until just a few years ago. So I like to pass that along if there are any new unfranchise owners, any new leaders. Uh, weigh in, guys. Have you done this before? Is this something that you knew? Did you know that the form was real time? I'd love to get your opinion on that. Yeah, I do love the videos to train. And I, I don't like sending people just to like anyone's YouTube video. I do like the corporate videos. There's just something about it. I mean, I know there's some people that have done all these videos, whatever, and I could go search, but unless I've done a video myself, which I also don't want to do because I don't want people to know, to feel like they have to shoot videos. Richard didn't know. He didn't know that the qualification report was real time. So yeah, that's, that's something I just want to make sure everyone's aware of it. Laurie, you did know. That's great. Oh, Carissa did not know that it was real time. Yeah. Carol did know. So, I mean, it's about 50-50. I don't know. I don't know where that's trained. Um, maybe it's one of those things. It's just like a verbal thing. You either catch it at a new odd or you don't. But um, but that is a tip that I have for you guys. 
All right, let's transition. So you guys know that last weekend, uh, our team was in Charleston, South Carolina, doing a Nutrimetrics certification training. And we had the pleasure of having Pam Torgus in there with us. And there was a section on uh, implementation that I thought it would be really great. I mean, Pam is a recent member of the Million Dollar Club. Um, Pam just hit a new level. Um, Pam has over 150 health professionals in her organization. So I just thought it'd be really great to say, you know, let's go back and forth, Pam, and I'll, I'll tell people how I do implementation and you can talk a little bit on how you do implementation. And it ended up being really great um, for a few reasons, but one of the main reasons is that I think that Pam and I have very different personality types. I am that, you know, type one and see that firecracker, that one that likes to go out and get meetings. And, um, I'm good at, at generating a lot of business. And Pam is a really great, she's strong in two areas, more as a wellness coach and more also as a TLS coach. And so we're going back and forth and Pam added something that I've never trained on. I've never trained people to do cause it's not something I do. And I realized it was something that was missing in my business. So if you guys are on here, it might be because you follow me all the time um, and you end up duplicating what I'm telling you to do. And I'm telling you that this was missing in my business and I am gonna make a change with this. And she said she starts off just about every single office. When she goes in, she kicks off the whole entire staff on a TLS program. She coaches them through TLS. She'll have a conversation privately with the practitioner owner to say, you know, are you going to give your staff products at cost or are you going to subsidize this program? She does it. Um, yep, Richard will catch you later. Um, she'll do that, that high level conversation. It gets staff on products, gets them having results. And then it's a really nice way for them to believe in the program, believe in TLS, believe in the products, and speak from you know the perspective of, I have used these, these work tremendously. It was like mind blown. I definitely need to take an audit of my own business. I do not have enough TLS coaches in my business. So I am going to most likely get on Sue Pasquale's next accountability group or just run my own. And I'm gonna go back to some of my offices. I'm gonna get some of the staff members uh, on TLS, work with them. I mean, I don't even care if it's a staff of one, a staff of two. Um, I have a whole group of independent nurse practitioners. Maybe I'll just put them all in, uh, they're all all over the country. Maybe I'm just going to have them all go through TLS together. So I'm going to pick Pam's brain. Pam, if you do catch this replay, because I've tagged you in it, um, I had a couple follow-up questions from that. Um, how long of a program do you do? Uh, is there a particular, I know you had said something that you pieced together your own TLS kit. So is it a four-week program? How long you are you sticking with it? As you're duplicating this, are you duplicating that no one charges coaching fees? Um, or are there any coaches fees? Is, is there any nuances for if there are, if they're not? Um, have you ever done this at a distance, Pam Torgerson? So these are all questions that I, I do have um, based on that little stage presentation that we had. But um, maybe I'll even get Pam to do a Facebook Live on this. If you guys want to say if that would be helpful or not, we can do one of our expert series interviews because I have a lot more questions around what Pam was training. And I do think that's something that is, I know for sure, missing in my business. Um, let us know, is this something that you guys have done? What are your best practices is it something you're doing is it something you're not doing I would love to hear from you because I was I was training and I got off stage I gave her a giant hug and said I I think you just changed the course of my business for the better and um, I had not really thought of um, incorporating that in something that I did every time with the staff I always ask the staff to get on product. I'm usually pretty good at getting them on product, but to have something at such a united effort, a united front, uh, it, just the way she had described it. So I think I need to tell everyone about that. We need to have that as a topic. So um, Pam, I will be reaching out to you and we'll do uh, an expert series on that because it, it really was uh, an interesting conversation that we were having on stage. So 
Every time I go to NC training, even the sections that I teach myself, I learn something new. And I, I wanted to make sure that you were hearing real time the epiphanies that I was having. So um, if you guys have some questions that you would like featured on an upcoming episode of FAQ Friday, send um, with the subject line FAQ Friday to Nutrimetrics at Nutrimetrics.com and your question may be featured. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend, a great fun, healthy, and safe 4th of July if I don't talk to you before Wednesday. And uh, I will come back to you guys next week. All right. Bye, gang.